What's good, YouTube? It's Cal. We back, you know, another nature walk. Cal Talks, whatever you want to call this series, man. Today, I'm going to be talking about just starting somewhere. Feel me? Like, when you're in your creative journey, you got to start somewhere. It doesn't matter how small, how big. And, you know, last time I talked kind of pretty much about how I just got to the point that I'm at right now, but I never really talked about how I started out. And like the way that I started out, it didn't seem like I had anything bright going for me in the future, but that's usually how it is when you first start out with something. Like, so when I got right into this, I didn't jump on Photoshop and I had all the plugins I needed, all the tutorials I needed, like in my mind, I knew what to do. Not at all, man, I didn't know what I was doing at first. The first app that I got, there's way too many bugs out here. But the first app that I got, man, was GIMP. If you guys don't know what GIMP is, it's a free little, like, Photoshop, kind of, like a Photoshop thing. That was the first thing I started on. And uh, with GIMP, let's see what the lights look like. With GIMP, I was able to learn, like, a good amount of stuff that I would implement later on Photoshop. So it wasn't a bad thing to start off with. Let's see, let me get the light. So it wasn't a bad thing to start off with. Like, they had like the basic things that you needed, like selection tools, movement tools, you know, all that. But like, if that's the thing that I wanna like make clear. And I like making these videos because I'm not someone who's like, yeah, I already made it. Like, I'm still in the process of making it. So if you can learn anything from me, that's definitely good, I'd say. Because I started off on GIMP, man. It wasn't nothing fancy. A lot of people, when they first start out, they want to have something fancy, have a go-to thing that's going to be the key thing that's just going to produce, like, crazy edits, crazy content. At first, you're not going to start off with crazy content. I don't care who you are. Like, no matter who you are, you know the people at the top, they definitely had to start somewhere, and it was somewhere low. They didn't just start off and make crazy banger edits, banger videos, whatever they do that's good at. If they're good at hoop, they never start off just the best, like, you gotta start somewhere and I find that a lot of people just don't wanna take the steps necessary to get to a level of excellence. And I'm still on my journey of excellence, man. And like along the journey, you just gotta enjoy the journey, man. Like whatever your journey is, you gotta enjoy it. Cause whoo, I'm out of breath on these walks, man. Nature's hitting. But hey, man, everybody has a different journey and like, that really goes for anybody who you are. Like, you're not gonna be able to follow someone's journey exactly. You're gonna have a different journey, no matter what. Like this journey on the walk through the list, man. Like, I'm losing oxygen. I can barely breathe, but for real. Real talk, real, real time's real. That's it. That's all we do on this channel. We talk that real shit. But you gotta love your journey, because if not, it's gonna be slow, real slow for you. You're not gonna start off where you want and me loving my journey it's been a slow ass journey because i started off people were like why are you doing this like these aren't even that good all that talking and stuff but now i see it growing and growing every day my skills getting up there now that's another thing along your journey you don't need to start off with the high tech cameras and high tech editing and all that start off low low all right but make sure everything that you make is precise and it's and it's showing off like that creative creatability that you have creativity that you have i mean if you want to get anywhere you got to be able to sacrifice the the hard steps of it the small steps that build something up like right now on my youtube page definitely not anywhere close to the amount of following that i get on my instagram page but here's what I'm doing every day, and it's gonna continue. Even if I'm not getting a lot of views right now, that doesn't matter to me, because it's all gonna pay off. Eventually that curve, eventually that curve is gonna whoop, go in your, your favor, man. So what I'm doing on YouTube right now, uploading almost every day, streaming almost every day. And since I built myself up on a different platform, Instagram, I've been able to buy new equipment that I need to help me flourish on, on YouTube and Tech, uh, technically speaking, it's just gonna change the game for real. And like right now, today when I get back home, I probably have my new PC all set up and all like that. 
So you guys will probably ask like, how'd you get that PC? How'd you do this? Like, like that PC is expensive. Let's not, let's not get that, that mixed up. But that PC is from me working my ass off, saving up a good amount of money. And then other factors came in that allowed me to just get it right now instead of having to save up a little bit more. Like I have been saving up for about three months to get that PC, but blessings came in and I was able to buy it like right now. So you just gotta, when, when you're gonna spend money on your equipment, like I say, you gotta start somewhere, but when you start building up your equipment, you gotta make sure you're spending money that you made from your progress, from whatever you're doing, not just spending it because you're going willy nilly about it, just spending your bread. Cause that's how you end up in a hole and you won't really know where to go from there. Spend it from your own pocket. You gotta make sure what you're gonna be buying. First of all, don't buy something that you don't even know how to use. That's a big no-no that you should not be doing. Second, just work towards what you're gonna get. So say if you're doing some like freelance work, save that money from freelance work. Have, that, have a little bit of that in your budget for what you're gonna need for your upgrades. Stuff like that, man. It all like leads up to something, something great. But I don't want to ramble on too much, but I just like bringing these videos to the page just to show a different side of me. So let you guys really know about who I am, what I think. I mean, you don't got to agree with me. Sheesh. Be trying to sting me. You don't got to agree with me or go along with what I say, but I think that what I say could definitely help you guys out. And I hope you guys have enjoyed like the talks that I brought to the channel. But... Spend castle scope, man. Until next time, I'ma catch y'all. Everybody get outside. It's starting to get nice out. Make sure you get outside. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy the world, man. Cause that even helps your creativity as well. Just getting outside and thinking. But until next time, it's been Castle Scope. And I'm out for now, y'all. Hey.